What's up, guys? Alright, hold on. Okay, now that I've shut Drake off, I can get to the point of this video. So, so I'm sitting here in my dorm room on a Thursday night after going to class and studying all day long for finals that are coming up this week. And I'm thinking, man, I gotta do a fishing video. But then I'm also like, dude, it's 25 degrees out. You can't go fishing. So I've been sitting here trying to think of a way to incorporate fishing into a video where I can just stay in my dorm room. Don't have to go outside and go fishing. So I, ha I have a list of a bunch of videos that I want to do once I get home for the winter. But for right now, I don't have the tools, the film equipment, or the materials to do a lot of those videos. So I basically just came up with one on the spur of the whim. So the idea behind this video was if I could try to teach one person, or no, if I could try to teach, if I could try to teach people that, if I could try to, if I could teach a person who has never fished before and has no fishing experience, one setup to use in fishing, what would it be? What is my go-to setup? So basically, if I was thrown onto an island with a rod and the equipment and the materials needed to make this one setup and to fish with this one setup to catch fish for me to eat, what would the setup be? I don't know. This isn't the best video idea, but I wanted to get a video out to you guys because I haven't made a video in like a week and I wanted to make a video. I'm going insane. I've been studying for hours and hours on end. So now you're probably asking yourself, okay, Connor, what is that setup that you would use? And I'm going to tell you the setup that I would use to catch fish and that I would prescribe to anybody who is not an experienced fisherman, fisherwoman to catch fish is the Texas rig. So what is the Texas rig exactly? Well, the Texas rig is comprised of a couple main parts. Now, a Texas rig can vary in many different ways, but I'm just going to show you guys my version of the Texas rig that I like to use to catch fish. So starting off, we have this EWG wide gap worm hook. Now, I use size 3 out. I know a lot of people use size 4 out, even some people use size 5 out, but this is the main component of the setup. I like to use wide gap because the hook point comes in line with the arbor point where you tie your line on so it it adds like a nice flat profile to your bait now along with this you can use endless baits on this hook you can throw a fluke bait a swim bait trick worms and even any type of stick bait you want okay sankos exo sticks anything you want can go into this hook and catch you fish on a texas rig now, like I said, there are a lot of variations to this rig. You can use the unweighted, weighted, you can use different size hooks, you can have weedless hooks, you can have weedless rigs, you can have not weedless rigs. I mean, the variations are endless. But I'm going to show you how I rig a Texas rig on this hook right now. Now, to start out with the Texas rig, you start with one important feature, and that, of course, is the hook. Now, the EWG stands for extra wide gap and the three out is the size so you can use any hook you want really as long as it's some sort of worm hook I just prefer the extra wide gap and the size three out now the next important feature in a Texas rig setup is your lure of choice like I said you can go with many different types of lures you go with a stick bait a crawdad presentation a lizard presentation a generic creature presentation a tube style bait trick worm swim bait fluke and many other types of different various soft plastics. Now you can see I have a big problem here. I am just going to stick with stick bait. The purpose of that is this is my go-to lure when fish aren't biting. I'm used to it and I'm going to use it in this video. So we now have our two components that we need to rig up the Texas rig. We have our hook and we have our bait. Now let's go over how to rig this exactly. You want to start with the hook in your hand as so. And you want to have the fat end of the bait or whichever end you desire to put onto the hook first being in line with that hook. So in other words, you want the bait and the hook to be, in a way, parallel. Now you take the bait in your hand as so. Whichever end you want to be at the top of this hook, you put on first. So in this case, I want the fat end of the snaker to be in first. So I put that in about the distance of this little straight hook part here. So you want to go take your worm where it starts to curve, as so. Then actually bring the hook out so it's sticking out like that. And now what you want to do is just slide the worm up. When you get to about here, you want to flip it over. So now it's on the inside of that hook. It was on the outside. You flip it. 
now it's on the inside. So the final step is just bringing the worm over this little ledge here up to the hook anchor point. Now when you have this, this might cover this, but when you have a line on, it's not a big deal. Your line's still going to anchor here. So you're going to pull it up so that, that that worm sits nice and straight. And as you can see, you have a couple options here now. Now your bait is in a nice straight line because of the design of the hook. So you want to take this. You want to see about where that hook is going to go into that worm to keep it straight. You want to put the tip of this hook into the spot where it needs to go. So you bend it as so. Put it through there and bring it out the other side. Just like that. So as you can see, the worm sits nice and straight and that's what you, how you want it to be. In order to rig this weed list, which I love to do, you just pull the worm forward, hook it in a little bit, and that's the Texas rig. So now we have a Texas rig so now we have a Texas rigged stick style bait. And you can see how flat that worm is and how much it moves. And that action is what's gonna drive the fish insane in the water. So in, I, in ideal situations, it's going to be falling, the fish is going to come up as so, eat it, he's going to bite down on that, and when he bites down on that, it's going to pull that worm off the hook as so. When he bites down on that like this, say this is his mouth, okay, he bites down on it, when you feel that tug, you're going to set the hook right into his mouth. So you think that you're not going to get that hook set with that hook tucked in there. But really, the fish is going to come in and he's just going to hit this so hard that it's going to pull the worm off and you're going to be able to set the hook right into there, getting really good hook sets and catching you a lot of fish. All right, guys, that's my video for today. I know it's kind of short and simple, but I wanted to go over basically something that I use all the time that if I was forced to use one rig, one setup, it would be this guy right here, Texas rigged stick bait. If you guys like this kind of video, please like down below and comment and let me know if you have the same go-to setup. Comment down below and let me know. If you don't, comment uh, whatever your setup is. I'd love to hear what it is. So please comment down below what your favorite setup is. If you like these kind of videos, give them a thumbs up and I'll keep doing them. If you don't like them, give it a thumbs down. And I'll take that into consideration and maybe just stick to fishing style videos. But overall, it's going to be videos like this for the coming months in the winter because I live in Pennsylvania and it's going to be freezing outside. I can't go fishing when it's negative 6 degrees out. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, Hit the button below, give me some uh, give me some love, and have a good night, guys. Oh, that 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 didn't work. Hi guys, it's Connor from Every Angle Angling here. I'm here with my roommate Amir, and today we're gonna go fishing. It's Christmas. It is Christmas and see we have a Christmas tree guys. So yeah everyone subscribe to my channel. I'm also going to tell everyone at Stony Brook in every group chat we're in to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay guys. Mm -hmm.